Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered the people of Bani Israel, that is the Jews and the Christians, to refrain from two things. Number one, mixing up, jumbling up all what is truth and what is false. And second thing is to conceal what is the truth, knowingly. Now, what is this all about? To understand this, we need to understand the back ground of uh, Bani Israel. Now, you know that Bani Israel, despite being blessed with a chain of prophets and with a series of holy books, they, they kept on deviating from the teachings of Allah and from the orders of the prophets. So when they deviated from the teachings of uh, their prophet and the teachings of Allah, which they were given in their divine scriptures, then Allah would punish them. Allah would punish them because of their disobedience. And then Allah would deprive them of their power, of their rule, of their authorities and his blessings. And then they were oppressed. In their books, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the prophethood and the arrival of Prophet وسلم, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given gave them clear indications of the prophethood and the arrival of Prophet so you know what happened what used to happen was they used to pray for the arrival of Prophet and they had been waiting for the arrival of mercy of the worlds and they used to even announce when they were oppressed and when they were made slaves and when they were punished and when they were persecuted by the tyrant rulers, they used to announce. They used to announce and they used to highlight to their cruel rulers that, you know, once our prophet comes, then we will be victorious and our conditions will be changed and we will no longer be oppressed. But actually what happened was that when Prophet Sallallahu was chosen as the prophet, what happened was, was totally against what they expected and what they desired. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was chosen as a prophet in the family of Bani Ismail. He was chosen in the second family tree. Although they had common ancestors, but they were disappointed and they were demoralized. And in fact, not only that, they were even furious as to why that Prophet was chosen in the family of Bani Israel and the family of Bani Israel was left out. They were not blessed with the prophethood of Prophet In this state of affairs, they got envious and they got jealous and all these negative emotions of envy, of jealousy, of disappointment, of anger and fury, they developed a negative frame of mind, a negative outlook, and they, they got enemies with Prophet And because of all this negative attitude and a negative frame of mind and a negative outlook, despite recognizing Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they failed to accept and they refused to have faith and believe in him and his book. Not only this, they became bitter enemies of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they became extremely hostile and they became opponents of the Quran. That is why they have been asked here to believe in the Prophet and to believe in Quran. And another situation that developed was that when Prophet announced his prophethood and he invited the people of Makkah towards faith. Now in this family of Bani Ismail, since the last 20, 2,500 years, there had been no prophet and they had had no holy guidance. They had not received any holy book. So since they were deprived of any form of holy guidance, they uh, had 
since they had not arrived, they had not received any form of holy book or holy scripture, they were finding it difficult to realize and to understand the truth of the teachings by Prophet Sallallahu And they were finding it difficult to have faith in the book of the Prophet Sallallahu So what they used to do was these people of Mecca and these mushrikeen of Mecca, they used to come over to the Jews and they used to come over to the people of the book and they used to talk to them and they used to say that, you know what, you are the people of the holy book. You have the holy scriptures and you can relate and you can comprehend and you can understand the truth of the teachings of Prophet Sallallahu and his book much better than us. And you confirm to us, you verify to us that what your books say about him and about his Quran, that these people of Mecca and the Mushrikeen in Mecca, they used to go to the Christians and they used to go to the Jews for the reconfirmation of the truth of the teachings of Quran and the prophethood of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they used to say that you read the holy books and uh, what do your books say about what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is teaching us? or is saying, or what he is telling. Are uh, these verses which Prophet Sallallahu is presenting, are they of a divine source? Now, to all these queries of the Mushrikeen of Mecca, despite knowing all the truth, the Jews and the Christians, they used to conceal, and they used to tell them that their books had no confirmation of the Prophet Sallallahu or Quran. So it is this falsehood they have been asked to stop from. They've been asked that you have faith and belief yourself. And when people come to you reconfirming about the teachings of Prophet Sallallahu then do not mix the truth with falsehood and do not conceal although you have yourself understood the truth of all this yourself.